Hey everyone, it is Thursday, I had to think about it, down at the toy store, and turns out I've got an upper respiratory infection, that's what we're calling it. So I got some antibiotics, got some other medication, and we're not getting to the destination as fast as we'd like, but we're still getting there. Keep chugging along, get a little bit done, take a break, get a little bit more done, as long as we're moving forward. Um, that's good enough for now. Now, does anyone remember what the Funko Space started as? You know what? It's not even a Funko Space anymore. It is now a Funko Wall. Remember, it started, I had to go this way. It started over here on this little side of the pillar. Or I guess we're calling this a pillar. It's not a pillar. The divider thing, okay? It started right there and it was just this little section right here around the thermostat, which I don't know if I have a little OCD in me, but the thermostat is in one of the, the weirdest locations you could get it in. It's right in the middle of everything, but the Funko space has pretty much become a Funko wall. And I don't even have the end part of the wall completed, right? There's still enough room for maybe I don't know, 50 Funkos or so, but I have at least probably 200 Funko down there. And um, you'll have to excuse me, trying to catch my breath a little bit, but I have 200 Funko down there. And then I have a collection buy coming in the store today. I think it's a smaller collection buy. There's probably about 30 Funko and there are some wrestling figures and some other figures that I hadn't really heard of. For sure, I'm gonna work on the Funko because I'm pricing that out and I'm going to work on getting the figures filled in here and probably try to knock out a box or two, <laughs> try to knock out a box or two from the back. Now, the weird thing about these collection buys, the word's kind of gotten out that we're buying collections and whatnot. And I even try to tell the people that, that message me or get a hold of me or whatever, I try to t explain to them, hey, I cannot pay collector prices for this stuff. I can't even really pay <laughs> reseller prices for this uh, stuff, but it doesn't seem to deter people. They like the idea of being able to sell whatever they have all at once. And, you know, it finds a home in the store and maybe somebody else that will enjoy it gets it, I guess. Sun's really wicked. I bet the figures in the windows are gonna be sun bleached or whatever that is called, which is unfortunate. I might actually move the figures out of the windows, but man, they look really good from the outside. Anyway, I kinda got sidetracked there. I'm gonna finish pricing out some of this Funko and we will wait for this collection buy to come in. I definitely wanna get that. Hello. I got you guys here. You need some help? I got one more box. I'll just go back and get it. Okay. That's you the wanna, biggest box. <laughs> sure, if you want to set them on the counter or however you want to do it. And we'll, we'll bring them up here. I'll take these. See what we got. Because I think I could probably, I don't even know, but. I, I don't either. <laughs> I mean, for 60 bucks, I can't really pass that up. Because those are. Those are cool. You're giving me such a great price on everything. I think I just take it. Here it is, the toy collection buy I mentioned earlier. And I don't know. I didn't price anything. I didn't look anything up. He gave me a number and I said yes. There are 26 little Funkos, six big Funkos six of these total chaos McFarlane toys from the 90s and there is a whole box of wrestlers I think the first thing I'll do on this buy I'm gonna go through the wrestlers first then I'll go through the Funko because you know I think I'm about Funkoed out for a while and then we'll go through the chaos figures or maybe we'll do wrestlers chaos Funko I don't know I don't think there's anything real special in the wrestlers. I'm not sure about the Funko and I do not know anything about these chaos carded McFarlane figures. Literally zero clue 
you know, what's new. I keep saying I need to get stuff shelved and I need to do this and do that, but I keep buying more collections that I have no room for. And that's just fine, I guess. I have this box of wrestlers. I'm not gonna go through each one of these. I'm not sure what's worth what, but I don't think that there is anything too crazy. These are kind of like what we call, I think just like peg fillers. I just know that he didn't charge me very much for them. And I just wanna count them. He told me how many there were, but I don't remember. Got four, six, eight, nine. I've got 10 and 12. It looks like 16. Now that I remember, he did tell me 16. These will be good peg fillers. Okay, I had a little break. I had some customers come in. I did have a chance to price out the wrestlers. The most expensive one I found was the Rey Mysterio and they wanted like 25 bucks or something on eBay. I priced him around $20. I don't try to squeeze blood out of a turnip or whatever the saying is. I try to price everything in the store to move. I'm a bigger believer in churning, you know, burn and turn, get it in, get it out, keep a fresh inventory. That's kind of my motto. So I price my stuff to move. Definitely not gonna lose any money on these, but it's not like this big jackpot either. So let's move on. Let's put these away and go into the McFarlane figures. Let's look at those. Here are the McFarlane Total Chaos Ultra Action figures. And they were 10 bucks a piece is what I paid. I think I'm gonna charge like 15 bucks a piece, maybe even less, but I thought they were really cool just because I had never seen them before. And we'll just look at them here. There's, they're, they're late 90s. These are just, I, I can't believe I never saw these. This one's pretty heavy. Now, the bigger one back here, this, um, it's called Quartz. Obviously, this looks really familiar. <laughs> um, this is heavy. So, spring-loaded power punch. This one has removable canopy, fires missiles, real cloth tunic. But this one right here, I think he is a little more desirable out of the other ones. And I'll probably do like 25 bucks on him. So not going to lose money, not going to make a bunch of money, but it is, it's just something I haven't seen before and it'll be good peg filler in the back. And I'm not going to go crazy and try to get like, you know, top dollar. Just going to make it work. Not losing money, not making a bunch of money. Now I got 26 Funkos and I don't expect anything real crazy in here, but I'm about full up on Funko. So this is Dragster, Miles Davis. There's some Star Wars Funko. Nice to have a good variety of Funko. Like I said, I probably won't go through every single Funko, Ben Solo, as I go through every Funko. Zatanna. Po, Val, so there's some Star Wars in here. If anyone sees anything crazy, let me know, please. Masters of the Universe, Merman, Princess Leia. There's <laughs> Star Wars Pez, and Vice Admiral Holdo, Anders from Workaholics, Clint Barton. Hawkeye. I see a Lando. I see, you know what? I'm just gonna pull him out. I see a Maz, another Miles Davis. Contra, what? Come on now. It's a crazy mix of stuff, right? A lot of Star Wars, 
and these will be good. People like the Star Wars. Okay, so nothing crazy. I didn't really see anything out of line. And yeah. So there's the Funkos. I think I'm about done buying Funko for a while. Unless something really juicy pops up. Need to put a stop to the Funko buying. We have a lot of Funko and I don't have anywhere to put it. Okay, here are the big Funko. Fair play. I already sold one of the six inch Funko out of this buy I just did today. Already sold one. You have Guardians of the Galaxy ship, basically two of each, Drax, Mantis, and Star-Lord. All right, I'll be the first to admit I got a little overexcited for that buy. Kind of thought it would be a little bit better. Turns out it was pretty average. I don't know, I was hoping for just a little bit more. Kind of let down. Tomorrow's another day, I'll price out all the Funko. Even if I don't get it on the wall, I'll price it. Have it ready to take out of the box when there's a hole, when somebody buys something. And you know, my voice is shot, my throat hurts. I'm on antibiotics, but it's gonna take a couple days for them to kick in, I'm guessing. So I don't know how much more I can talk. I might as well just call it a video. Hope everybody's having a great week. Tomorrow is Friday. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace.